Do you know the story of Harry and Sam? Harry, he's the greatest salesman in the world. Bold and assertive, Harry always knows what to say. Precisely the right words to make sales day after day. Now Sam, he's a salesman too, but he doesn't have Harry's magical gift for saying just the right thing at just the right time. No matter how hard he tries, customer after customer, Harry outsells Sam every single time. Somewhat discouraged, Sam picks up a book he's been meaning to read just before bed. It's called Swim with the Sharks Without Being Eaten Alive. It was written by Harvey McKay. Before falling asleep, he makes it to page 44, and his fortunes change from that moment on. It's only one paragraph, but to him, it is the best sales advice of all time. What does it say? It says that while insurance companies don't know who will die each day, they prosper through statistics by knowing how many people will die each day. It's called the law of large numbers, and salespeople should leverage it too. The idea is to stay in touch with and coddle every prospect you lose. If you can't be number one, be number two. Over time, just like insurance companies, the numbers will start working for you. Eventually, some of those Harry's, those rock star real estate salespeople, they'll move away, they'll trip up, or they'll pass away. And when that happens, the doors of opportunity open for you. Statistically, you want to be number two, standing in line, poised to rush in when that happens. In the author's own words, Apply the law of large numbers if you have the perseverance and patience to position yourself as number two to enough different people. If you do that, if you're standing second in line, in enough lines, sooner or later, you're going to move up to number one. The takeaway? Cloudy skies eventually turn blue for the patient salesman who stays number two. And if you're in real estate, that means staying in touch with those sellers you lose. The people who don't list with you first time around. Now, you'd never suggest that they leave the agent who beat you out of the listing. In fact, you'll say nothing but great things. But stay in touch with those sellers you lost. A gift now and then? A nice note? The point is, stay number two. Because as you know, in real estate, the first listing agent isn't always the one who makes the dough. Hey. If you'd like to learn some innovative, cool real estate strategies, ways to knock them dead in your market, call 480-998-0110. Join the Real Estate Mavericks movement. We're writing the creative playbook on how you can win creatively in real estate.